Well, hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy with Design by Kathy. And today we're going to do a, a painting on canvas. I'm gonna use alcohol inks and I'm gonna show you what you have to do to make that work on canvas. So let's get started. If you haven't used alcohol inks before, I'm going to be using these. Uh, they're all by uh, Ranger Inks. I have a, a Cinnabar, a Mermaid, Lapis, Teakwood, and I'm going to use these. They're called additives, and I've got a pearl, and I don't know, got a silver. We may or may not use that. We'll just see. <clears throat> I have primed this with this... Uh, Bullseye 123 Primer. Alcohol inks are actually made for metals and, and solid surfaces. Well, as you know, our canvas is, is porous. So in order to make this work, what we needed was to, to prime it. And we're gonna hope that this, this primer um, will allow the ink to do what it's supposed to do. We'll know really quickly, and if it's an epic fail, you'll never see this video, so don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I also have uh, my alcohol solution, which when you buy a kit, and I got my first kit, or I've gotten all my alcohol inks on Amazon, um, this is another little tool. It just has these little, comes with these little, um, well, they're kind of like cotton, I guess you could say, little, little things in me, little, little, it's, um, Velcro things, and these are actually, if you want to stamp, uh, you can also use like a makeup sponge. So let's just get started with some colors and see what this is gonna do. Oops, kinda. I can't really tell. It's I mean it's it's spreading. I can't tell if it's just soaking up yet or if it is actually. Now alcohol ink does dry quickly. So here is the, the trick is we want to be able to manipulate it quickly. And I do believe that our um, primer has worked really well. I'm pretty, it's not, it's not soaking in. I'm gonna use a different side here. Get this little green. I'm gonna take a little ink and see what we get with that. Because this is can either lighten it's made to either lighten your, uh, your paint, but it can also move the paint. There's a lot of different techniques when you're using uh, alcohol inks. I have used it uh, on glass, but you do need to, again, prime that as well. Uh, I've used it on stainless, uh, worked really well on some stainless, a stainless cup. I'll actually show you in just a second, I'll show you one that, when I used it on the stainless cup. I'm gonna see if I can catch the spray on this before it's, there you go. Can you see that? See how it's moving it? I love this uh, lapis color. It is gorgeous, and I like the mermaid. It doesn't take a lot. As you can see, they come in little tiny, this is a point, point five ounce, so it's a little tiny. Um, <clears throat> A 
little tiny bottles, but like I said, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't take just a whole, whole lot. I'm gonna add some of the pearl. Well, maybe the pearl is not the best. Let's go back with our, well, the thing is, is alcohol is also what you clean up with. So I should have let that pearl just do its thing there. We'll try that again. I mean, this is all gonna come off my hands with just alcohol. It's pretty, it's pretty cool how, how it works there. get my edges. But I don't want to let it dry too much before I can add a little alcohol. This is basically doing the same thing that the little dauber um, thing that I showed you that, that came with my kit. Um, this is pretty much doing the same exact thing. Now another way you can do it, which I'll do it on this and see what we get, is you could add several different colors at one time. This gets, uh, to me, this gets more of a little stippling effect that's not going to be quite as easy to use on a canvas because it's not on a hard, you know, unless you had a backing behind it really well there. But if you've done painting and you've used like the stippling brush or something, you know, or like even when you're doing the faux painting on walls. I'm just trying to blend those little, I don't know, the edges along there. See what we can create. Opens any open space that I have left. Mermaid. I want some more mermaid right in here.
And it's okay, you know, let your colors lap and <clears throat> then spray your alcohol ink on it. keeps putting my paints out of my view here, sorry. And I can't find them. I don't know, I just think that, that they're a lot of fun to work with. Get a, you know, quite a different, um, different effect than you would with the acrylic paints. If you're going for something, you know, abstract here, like I am. decisions which color you don't have to have a plan when you start out have your colors picked choose your colors and if you have a, a, a plan then you know go with it and if not see where it ha takes you See, that's already dried. So you have a very short window of time to do any of your manipulating, uh, if you will, with your paints. You know, and I'm just gonna keep going here until it, uh, um, you know, the, it takes the look that, I, that I'm happy with. You know, so you'll do the same thing. Just keep manipulating until you get the look you want. We're gonna do a little manipulating with the canvas. When you search for alcohol ink, you can find beautiful, beautiful projects that people have done. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun. It's just, a, you know, like this, uh, this is trial and error with uh, when you're first learning, but don't be afraid to just jump out and, um, give it a shot.
Let me see what, put a little teak wood there. And you'll see that it, it takes on different forms depending on which what you use, if you just let it run, or if I'm using the sponge. If you don't like how it looks, again, alcohol changes the look, uh, be it the vibrancy of it or This is a 12 by 12 canvas that I'm using. Um, they happen to be on sale. I normally like, you know, when I'm doing experimenting, I like to use a, a smaller one, like a 10 by 10. I just find that it's more practical to experiment and spin less till you're comfortable with doing a certain technique. I'm shaking the alcohol habit. And it keeps wanting to. But see how the, it's starting to make little natural um, lines and shapes. want to get a little bit more of the mermaid here in the center. I like that color. I kind of think I want it to just kind of pop. I actually found a little clean corner here, so let's try this. I like this teak wood color. But again, these are Ranger inks, and it's alcohol ink. It's made for metal, but as you see, you can prime your, um, if you wanna do it on canvas, prime it and it is apparently working. I'm just manipulating it a little bit so if we can get some little definition here in the center 
area. <clears throat> okay, I want to do a little bit back in here. Just little tiny dots, as you can see. the way that just did on its own there so don't want to mess that up I remember the first time I ever tried to do some faux painting I was redoing my bathroom in my house and um, I used the little stippling brush and the whole whole nine yards, you know, the texture and all that. Uh, well, I finally got the hang of it, but it was by the time I got to the end of the bathroom. <laughs> Should have practiced on a smaller something first, but you know, most things you can go back and, and fix. Now, I'm really liking that more now. It looks kind of like worn my, my stuff's moving, but kind of looks like worn paper to me. I'll, of course, take a close-up picture of uh, the end here. And let's see. I think we're going to add a little. I, don't, I, I didn't like how that ran, so I want to do something else there. But like I said, just keep um, adding and manipulating until it takes on the look that you are happy with. And like I said, don't worry about the cleanup on this. Of course, I wouldn't try it on your carpet or anything, but as far as your hands, it's gonna come off with alcohol. This little area, what do we need to do there? It needs something else, doesn't it? Um, let's go with the Cinnabar. Eh, okay, we'll go with Cinnabar, why not? Said, you can see how we get two completely different effects using the little sponges and using this little tool. So there we have it, folks. Um, I will come back after this dries. I would want to protect it with a sealer. Um, Either, either be it resin or, um, you know, spray sealer. Um, just a little bit more here. If you try this on metal, you will see that it moves around completely different. Or the, the, make a paper specifically to use with it. You can do some really fun uh, artwork on that. But I really wanted to try this canvas. We've got a lot of colors going on there, but I'm kind of liking the way they're all kind of um, moving along. Anyway, there we have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll take a moment to comment 
or leave a like, share, or subscribe. Anyway, I hope you'll give this a try. It's really a lot of fun. Again, it's Ranger Inks, and I will put some links down below. But whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal, and you can do it.